From News 5, here's your Power of 5 weather and today's top stories, sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital. Hi there everyone, Power 5 meteorologist Brian Shaw here. Mostly sunny skies for the early part of today. Temperatures jumping up into the mid to upper 70s. Mostly cloudy skies for later on this afternoon. We are going to bring in the chance for a few rain showers for the overnight. Temperatures stay mild, just dropping down into the mid 60s. Hello, I'm Terrence Lee. Here's a rundown of today's top stories. The fifth victim of serial killer Sean Great has been identified. The Marion County Sheriff's Office says skeletal remains found in 2007 are those of Dana Nicole Lowry. She is one of five women Sean Great has confessed to killing. Last June, Great was convicted of killing two women in Ashland County. In February, he pleaded guilty to killing two other women in Richland County. New developments in the search for a man who disappeared while swimming in the Cuyahoga River. Kayakers found the body of a different man in the water. He's been identified as 62-year-old Radna Mahout, who was reported missing less than a week ago. Crews have been searching for 24-year-old Catalino Hernandez, who was swept underwater near the Cascade Valley Metro Park Sunday night. Rescue teams will continue their search for Hernandez today. Cleveland City Council is giving electric scooters the green light. Council members voted to pass a measure to regulate companies like Bird and Lime. Most of those guidelines lay out where they can be parked, how fast they can go, and when they can be used. Those are your headlines. Check back later tonight for another update and download the News 5 app for news updates anytime. Sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital.